If you see a contract for me over there, I wouldn't mind going to England. Mm. And he came back and he'd, he'd had an offer from Dorothy Padgett, who was well known all over the world, mm -hmm. and uh, with J.V. Rank, who was brother to the film magnate. J. Arthur Rank. J. Arthur Rank. And J. Arthur Rank wasn't interested in racing at all, but his brother was. J. V. was, and he had his, his breeding, and he had a, his own gallops, beautiful gallops, and beautiful stable. Did you get free passes and to the movie theaters? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't meet J. Arthur. Yeah. But uh, we we lived up, up on his property for the first two years we were there, and mm -hmm. it uh, it was a fantastic place, and he was a great. Great, great man. Mm. J. Arthur Rank was the bloke with all these movies open with the, the eye hitting the big gong, didn't oh, it? Yeah, J. Arthur Rank right. was yes. So how long were you overseas all told, Scobie? Well, I went for, for only intended going for two years, which we did, and I had two great years and I rode a lot of winners. And uh, he begged me to sign on again, but I thought we were homesick. Mm. And I said, oh no, you know, we're homesick. And uh, by this time, May and Loretta had got to like love England, you know. Yeah. And um, I said, oh, no, we're going back home. And, of course, when I got back home, I realised I missed England too. And um, LJV died in the meantime. And uh, his trainer was a chap named Noel Cannon. And he cabled me, said, I'm getting Jewish horses, Jewish whiskey people. Yeah. Yeah. to train from Noel Merlis. Will you come back and ride for us? And uh, I said to May and Loretta, come on, we're off back to England. Mm. And of course, we were back there for over 40 years then. All right. That's a nice early shot of uh, the girls in question, two very important people. Oh, May and Loretta, life. yes. Lovely photo, yes. Gorgeous. And there's a, a more recent one too, which we uh, have. She's a pretty girl, my old one, wasn't she? Certainly. Not a bad type at all. Not a bad type <laughs> at all. And that's Loretta and, uh, and May there with you. Oh, that's right, yes. I guess that's going back to, to when, the, the 60s, uh, 70s? Uh, it, would be, it would be younger than that, I think. Mm. Loretta's not very old there. OK, uh, <laughs> the, the important thing is, uh, did you see the Cox Plate on Saturday? I watched, oh. I wasn't there. Right, I watched it another great, great race. A wonderful race, yes, yes. I mean, it's, it's an amazing thing where the Cox Plate always has a fantastic... Well, of course, I mean, the best horses in the land are are taking part, but the finish is always an exciting one, isn't it? Well, it, it, it was a great finish and a great and exciting race, <coughs> pardon me, and uh, hopefully Amy's got a nice finish like that with another one or two in the finish. Mm. Of uh, course, we're talking about the Victoria Derby, aren't we? The of course AMI, we are. Victoria of course Derby. we are, yes, I wish I was riding in it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's your record like in, uh, in big derbies? I won two. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and derbies overseas were no strangers to you either, were they? No, I won two English derbies as well, fortunately. We talked before about the Caulfield Cup. The amazing thing about this bloke, who was uh, declared by so many people as, you know, if not the greatest, one of the greatest ever uh, from Australian uh, racing history, you won four Caulfield Cups, and I think they were consecutive cups, weren't they? They were, yes. St. Theory was the last. St. Theory was last, yes. Yeah. What were the others again, please, Gabby? 42 was Tranquil Star. Yep. Uh, 43 was Skipton. Yep. Uh, they were both run at Flemington, and they moved back to Caulfield. And 44 was <coughs> Council. 45 St. Ferry. Mm -hmm. Then I went to England, as you know, and, and my two years in England, I started to ride when I came back. And I won in 52 for my old boss, Pat Quinlan. Right, right. So I got the record there for a while. There's only one possibly might break it. It's this Damien Oliver. He's won Pretty good, isn't he, eh? And he's a young fellow, you know. Mm. But it'll take him a while yet. Sorry. You mentioned Skipton. Was that the, the year when there were two divisions of the Caulfield? Yes. St. Warden won the St. other one. St. Warden won the other one, yes. Mm. And what was the reason for the, the two divisions? Oh, I suppose there's too many runners accepted, you know. Yeah. And uh, that's the only reason I can think it would be, yeah. So it's a good field for next Saturday's uh, derby, AMI Victoria Derby. Last year, of course, it was, uh, it was a fantastic race. Great finish once again. And I suppose uh, they're expecting exactly the same uh, this time around on Saturday. What makes Derby Day at Flemington such a, a magnificent racing day? Is it well, simply because the best are running? 
Well, I think it's the best three-year-olds in, in the country, and there's other group races on, and I, I think it's about the best stage racing in the year. Mm. And uh, I think it's great that they've got the sponsors like Amy. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Lucky. Yep. yep. And Lucky uh, you're with Amy. I, a pity they weren't around when I was winning the derby. Well, I tell you what, I in 1995, you're doing a pretty good job at playing. I would have got more. <laughs> I would have got more out of it. Do you think the, the sling the might sling have been, might have been uh, a little better? Could have, <laughs> oh, you wouldn't have accepted slings, would you, Scammy? Not unless they were legitimate. Yeah. And were there many legitimate slings? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you know, the slings weren't, weren't very high or very good in those mm. days. Or slings better in England or no in Australia? State money. Which was better? Oh, England, uh, in the big races, the stake money was very good, you know. Mm. But other than the... Outside the big races, the stake money in England is rather poor, and still is in a sense, you know. But the big races are worth plenty and a lot of money, you know. Sure. I, my first derby was was uh, on Santa Claus, and that uh, in those days that was the the, the highest stake money, and it was I think it was seventy two thousand mm. pounds, of course. Great to see you again, and uh, you're doing a right. fantastic job of promoting the. Uh yeah, it just I happens that you've got something. Can I, can I pre present you? Certainly. With these golf umbrella and uh, and these uh, with uh, great pleasure from Amy's. Yes, and uh, and and good luck for the the derby too. Uh, yeah. Double A M I next you Saturday. Play, do you play golf? Yes, I do. Well, I do now. Yes. <laughs> I I have a great grandson. He's a no, eight year old. Mm -hmm. He's a great golfer in Brisbane. What you can say? You think he'd beat me? <laughs> <He's not. laughs> And what's more, he might. I've got a feeling he gets. He, last time he won a competition, as I said, he's only eight year old. Mm -hmm. He was round the nine holes they only play for, and he was round in 43. Right. For an eight year old, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. If you've just tuned in, by the way, pardon us for standing, but the furniture's been repossessed. <laughs> uh, good to see you, Scobie, and I wish you well, my friend. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thanks. Scobie Breesley. Always great to have the champ with us. Now on GMA, here's Moira. Thank you, Bert. Well, let's find out about home finance from our friends.